All right, so I got a question from Rudy. He writes in, he says, yo, Sparty, please, please, please make a video on how to attract and deal with women in an office environment. Dipping your toes in the company water, as I call it. All right, Rudy. So I'm going to tell, give you the what I would do, and then I'm going to give you the answer that you're looking for. So my personal recommendation is don't get involved. It rarely rarely works out and then it becomes an awkward situation typically what happens now i know people have done it i've never done it i have friends have who have done it um i know a lot of consultants tend to hook up because that's kind of the lifestyle that they live i know lawyers do it i know that in, in healthcare they do it because they're working long long hours and that's kind of all they see that's kind of their life so it ends up happening more often than not. Now, more often than not, I would say like 99% of the time it doesn't fucking work out. But again, if you want to go down that road, you can. My recommendation, and I always say this, is just friend zone these hot girls and they're gonna, it's, it's a long-term better play because they are gonna pull in their hot friends that you will be able to seduce, right, and flirt with. So I would rather that, but if you, I'm sure you have your eye on a girl, so uh, Let's teach you how to do it. So here's the deal, man. In an office setting, and it, it's attraction is the same for everyone, right? Every girl has attraction. And the way to attract a girl initially is to be playfully challenging with her. Challenge her. Challenge that bitch, right? That's what you want to do. So for example, you're walking by her cubicle and she's sitting on her phone. You say, Cynthia, looks like you're really working hard today. I'm glad that you're really earning that promotion, right? Or she's staying late and you say, Cynthia, it's so nice that you're working so hard so I don't have to do anything. And you smirk at her and then you keep walking away, right? So little pack hand challenges like that, playfully challenging, of course, and you're flirting with her, right? But eventually those challenges will, you know, spark up into deeper conversation where you're talking to her and you're engaging, you, you can connect on work, your boss, whatever right and that connection there's a connection some rapport that's already there that you can kind of go off of and then from there you know you get to learn a little bit more about her maybe some of her friends blah 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 or you talk about the work buddies and you get in a work group right and then all you have to say is hey guys it's thursday night let's go get some drinks this has been a shitty week why don't we go down the corner let's go to hawthorne's or let's go to whiskey saigon or whatever bar that you're thinking about going to right and and then you just go there and then you get some drinks with each other. You've been flirting with her. It's dark. And then let the alcohol kind of do its thing. Right. And then that's the opportunity to make your move on her. Right. So that's really it's pretty honestly really a simple game. You shoot the shit, challenge her, tease her a little bit, playfully uh, tease her. Right. You take her out, you go out, you hang out and then you hook up. Right. You hook up at the bar and then what will happen is you'll take her home. And it happens more often than not because there is just some lust that's going around in that office because you guys are together and don't, you're fantasizing about her. She's probably fantasizing about you because the more you're around someone, the more you think they're attractive. That's just naturally what happens. So there's tension that's building up, especially when you're playfully challenging her. So it's pretty quite simple, but don't fucking do it. I think it's an idiotic move. Just friend zone her and have her bring the friends around. Then she can just hate you when it doesn't work out with the friends and you break their heart. All right. So anyway, I hope that helps. I hope you don't follow through with it, but who am I to tell you what to do? Peace.